Hi friends, welcome back to my page. Um, I read the comments that some of you guys left on my last video when I was showing you how to do the beautiful makeup look like this. And a lot of you were really curious about the mannequin brush that I made. For reference, uh, this is not something that I drew that time. That is actually a, a mannequin brush that I created for myself. It is my own original brush. And matter of fact, if I turn everything off, you can actually see the brush. and then I'll, that is the brush and so I'm going to show you how to make your own in your own style go ahead and delete this and we're going to make a completely new document now if you never made a new document in procreate I'm about to show you so I'm going to go to the plus sign and I'm going to where it says new canvas I'm going to click it and me personally I do everything in inches I'm going to do an eight by eight canvas not eight, not that says 18, eight by eight, honey, eight by eight. Lord, it wants to embarrass me. Eight by eight at 300 DPI. DPI is dots per inch. If you've ever had problems with Procreate giving you pixelated imagery, it's probably because your DPI was too low. You want 300 or above. That is high res. And it also tells you the maximum number of layers you can use in that document. I can use up to 112 with 300 DPI. Anybody who asks me, how many layers should you use? As many as you want, as many as is allowed. You can use one layer or you can use all 112. I'm going to create that document. Okay, so now we're going to get into actually creating our brush. So let me go to my sketching because I always like to sketch. And I personally like to use a 6D pencil because it makes me feel like I'm drawing in real life. Um, if you don't have a paper light screen protector, this is completely um, on a side quest. Make sure you have one. It helps with sketching on the iPad so much. So I want to make a mannequin head. So as a guide, sometimes I will bring in an image and I'm going to go to add, insert image. I'm just going to grab this image. I got her off of Pinterest. I don't know who this lovely young lady is if you do tag her but i'm not actually going to be tracing her i just use her as a placeholder so that i can pretty much get my proportions down okay so now that i have that and i basically just want to use this as a guide now i put a new layer on top of it i'm not going to be drawing on this layer and i lowered the opacity the lower the opacity I went to N and I lowered the opacity. About 38% works for me. Okay. So now going to my extra mama new layer. I want to just kind of mark where her features are. So I'm actually just gonna make a hey, excuse me. Let me use my guide to help with that. So I'm going to go to the wrench, go to canvas. I'm gonna put on drawing guide. Now I got a little bit of a grid going here. That's definitely gonna help. So like I said, I'm just using this as a guide to make sure that I'm um, got everything level. So this is where my eyes are. I'm going to draw with my this pencil is getting on my nerves. It's, it's um making so I'm gonna switch pencils. I'm gonna do procreate pencil. And I'm gonna go down the side because I just want to draw where her eyes are kind of living. Here, here, here. Here, I'm going to draw just a little triangle flip. I'm going to do a little circle to let me know where the main part of her head is. And to make a perfect circle, I just draw an ugly one and I hold it and it'll auto correct it. And then you'll see this tab come up on its own. Hit circle. Boom. It's a perfect circle. And then I am going to draw her chin line. I'm not worrying about being perfect right now. Because this is all about recreating it in your own personal style. This is just the way I draw. But you have your own personal style. Make sure I'm getting the shape of her head just right. And the ears are going to live here and here. Neck. And I tend to draw my necks a little bit narrow and doll-like. It is up to you how you want to do it. Again, I'm just showing you the parameters of how to make your own. It looks ugly right now, but it'll make sense at the end. 
Okay, so now if I turn her off, I got this. <laughs> it looks hideous, but just work with me. Okay. I'm going to make a new layer on top of that. And I'm actually going to change, edit my drawing assist. I'm going to edit drawing guide. And I'm going to turn on symmetry. And I want to make sure that my symmetry line is centered. And by symmetry, that basically means anything I draw on one side of the page will automatically end up on the other side of the page. So done. Got it. Okay, I may, I'm actually going to just turn her back on to give me a little bit of a guide, uh, but you don't have to. So now this is where it comes into drawing stuff in your own style. Let me lower the pattern of the layer underneath. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in my own style the way I would draw eyes, nose, lips, everything. Now, when you're using symmetry to do eyes, be careful. They can be a little bit wonky. See how weird that looks? I'm actually not going to do the center of her eye. Because you want to do that by hand. it all so I can get in there and get her eyes the way I want them to look. Like I said, I don't use symmetry to do the eyes so much because they look weird to me, but you can. I just don't do it. Don't be, be afraid to go back and forth with it, making it look the way you want it to look. You're going to see me erase and redraw a bunch of times. So this is going to be your brush. Turn drawing assist off and on as often as you need to. You know what? I actually want to draw her eyes a different way. I'm going to actually turn drawing assist off. And I actually want her eyes to draw off. Side. Just give her some like side eye. Then when you have her face the way you want, then you can draw whatever type of hair you're gonna do. I like to do a nice little deep wave situation. Because like I said, it's just a mannequin head. I can draw any type of hair I want later. I'm always going to give her her little wave on the side. Shading here and there. Have fun. Make it your own. A little beauty mark. A little cute beauty mark. How about that? Make sure she has piercings. It's your brush. Okay. So. Now that I have her, I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to top duplicate it, Dupl slide it to the side, duplicate, tap it, merge down. That's just to make it a little bit darker and deeper. Now I have it. Now you can go back in and you can clean things up if you want to. Like I'm actually going to remove the layer underneath. And you can clean it up as much as you want. I like the rough look because I know that eventually I'm just going to ink her anyway. So once you have, oh, baby girl needs a head. She needs the rest of her head. What am I doing? And just like you can make a circle, it can help you make curved lines as well. Press, hold, perfect curve line. Perfect curve line. Okay. Now, the thing about making a brush is you have to draw in white bigger hit the arrow sign increase the size turn off the layer underneath I don't longer need it this has to be done in white now you can color drop it if you want to you can make a clipping mask on top and turn it white but this is I want to show you the quickest way to turn this white 
first of all turn off your background layer okay sorry about that um my my phone actually stopped recording so i didn't even realize that i just kept going but anyway this is the this is the really important job this is where we take your drawing and we turn it into a stamp brush your mannequin stamp brush so one thing about brushes is that they actually have to be white obviously we did not draw this in white so a quick way to turn it white you're going to go to hue and saturation um that is under the little magical wand where it says hue saturation and brightness and you're just going to turn the brightness all the way up so now it is white okay and now we want to see, now there's two different ways for this to work you can either copy this and then paste it in the brush thing or you can save it i'm going to save it because sometimes when you try to copy it it gets wonky so I'm going to go to the wrench and I'm going to go to share. You see, it's going to say add canvas, share, share. I want to set share as a PNG, PNG, export. I'm going to go to where it says save image. I'm going to save it. Okay, export successful. Now I'm going to turn this layer off and I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to go to the brushes, tap the plus sign tap the plus sign and then you're going to go down to shape and you're going to see this little part where it says edit click edit and it says import import and you're going to import a photo because you saved it find your drawing it should be the last one import and there it is it's going to come in click done then you're going to go to stroke path which is the one at the very top Oh, let me redo that. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Let me go back to shape, edit, import, import a photo, bring that in. Thank you. I actually make sure you hit done. That's the only way it'll save. If you don't hit done, it won't save. Okay, so hit done. Now I'm going to go to stroke path and I'm going to turn spacing all the way up. That's going to stop it from being like a long brush. It'll actually be an individual brush now. So I hit stroke tab, turned it all the way up. Now I am going to go down to Apple Pencil, right? And under pressure, under pressure, you're going to um, turn the opacity all the way down. It's going to be up. You're going to turn it down because that's going to make sure that when you press it, it's going to always be a solid shape. Then from there, you're going to go under right underneath it to properties. And you're going to hit brush behavior. You're going to go maximum size. That means you can make it as big as you want to make it. And now you can just test it here in the drawing pad. See if it works. All right. I'm going to click done. And it's going to be an untitled brush. You can title it whatever you want to title it. And you can actually go ahead and if you go down to about brush, you can name this brush. You can give it a name. You can sign it. It is now your brush. You can go and sell it if you want to. It's now yours. And sign your signature. There you go. Now we have this brush. You can name it. Do whatever you want to it. Okay. I'm going to turn my background back on. And I'm going. now that I got my color selected, I'm going to go ahead and see if my stamp works. So let me get a size. And boop. <gasps> there she is. There is our girl and if i wanted to let's do this with black raise it bam and i'm going to make a layer underneath take a different brush let's just do a random let's just do a round brush pick a skin color and now we're in business we are in business like I said, I did her in a very sketchy style. You can go in. The as possibilities are endless. You can go in and make her as fancy as you want to. Now you know how to make a brush. And here's the cool thing. Once you've made one, if I wanted to make another one with the same exact parameters, all you have to do is go back to where you saved this brush at. I believe I accidentally saved her in pencil sketching. Yeah. You just go back to, to where it was. Tap it. Oh, duplicate it. Duplicate the brush. Tap it. And then you create your new brush. Whatever your settings were, it's going to save. So you can create brush after brush after brush after doing just one. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope that y'all come up with a bunch of different fun ways to use this technique. Oops, change the brush back. Um, and now you're on your way to making like your own mannequin brush and possibly your own brush kits to sell. Open up your little little download shop on Etsy and sell your brushes now for people. It's just that easy. If you like this video and you enjoyed it, make sure you leave me a comment. Make sure you follow me and subscribe. If you have not, please share this with a friend. I'm trying this year. I'm trying to like build my community on here and I need you guys as help. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. Love you guys. Deuces. See you next time. Oh, <laughs>